Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Rider Lessons. Welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at our more of a first impression on a fragrance by the company Mihan Aromatics, and this one is called Guilty Story, so make sure to stay tuned. In today's video, I'm actually joined by my good friend Carlos from the channel Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Hello, everyone. And I'm also joined by Ross from TLTG Reviews. Great to be here, guys. Of course. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you for joining us. Nice so the information you. for both of these gentlemen will actually be down below. And of course, Carlos is somebody whom <laughs> I collaborated with many, many times in the past. I'm over part of the 300. Project, right? Yeah, in some way. Uh, and then here, Ross, I'm actually meeting you for the first time today. So Absolutely been an honor and a pleasure, gentlemen. This likewise. is yeah, likewise. kind of dream, dream come true, my two favorite reviewers. Thank, Thank you. you so much for saying that. I appreciate it. Um, okay, so this is one of your samples, and this is one that presumably you acquired today at the event? Correct. Okay, cool. Correct. So Mihan Aromatics has a booth set up outside, and so I've, uh, I do have experience with one of their fragrances, which is called Petrichor Plains. It is a unique scent. It's one that I plan on reviewing down the line, uh, but the one that we're going to be smelling today is called Guilty Story. And so I would like to start with you, Carlos, and then we're going to get uh, Ross's opinions. So this is definitely spicy. Um, Spicy, picante, kind of almost, but not quite there, not burning, mm. but it's definitely spicy and um, like what you said before. Red hot. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> which I'm not a huge fan of. <laughs> if I had a choice of the candy for, for Halloween, I wouldn't pick the red hots or I'd give the red hots away to okay. everyone else. <laughs> I respect so that's what that. I get for this. Okay, cool. How about you, Ross? Yeah, right off the top, it's got a, it's got a candied, warm spice to it from the cinnamon, for sure. That's where the Red Hots vibe that I'm getting from it. It's which I love Red Hots. I'm the opposite. Of <laughs> but yeah, anybody that knows me has watched my channel. I'm all about spicy fragrances, warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, soft, spicy, just anything spicy. Yeah. And this right up my alley, right here. We're getting into that time of year. This is this is perfect for this time of year. Yeah, very well said. Uh, whenever I think of spicy fragrances. I always get um, images of autumn conjured up, and this one with the cinnamon, you know, there are a lot of fragrances that have that cinnamon warmth that I love to wear this time of the year, Tea for Two by Lourdes and Parfumer, uh, Chai by Baruti is another one that I really love. And this one, I feel like the cinnamon is maybe like 70% there and the saffron is 30%, where like the saffron kind of takes a back seat. It's really more so about the cinnamon. There's also notes of sandalwood and um, cashmere wood in there. I don't pick up those notes uh, too strongly per se. And I think I'm only saying that because I know uh, their other fragrance, Petrichor Plains, also contains sandalwood. And it's very robust and noticeable in that fragrance. I feel like the more I'm smelling it, the more it's drying. I feel like the sandalwood will start to rear its head more. Mm -hmm. it's, it's getting a little mm -hmm. bit creamier, but it's still maintaining a sort of freshness to it for being as warm as I it is. I was gonna say that. You know? There's something fresh about it. And yeah. it feels like it would wear very warm land skin. You know, I couldn't get any notes right away. Uh, full disclosure, I did look it up online because I was very intrigued to see what the note breakdown was. And I picked up the spicy nuance, but then I also picked up like a creamy, fresh nuance about it as well. And so this is a dichotomous blend. I feel like it goes in a couple different directions, but ultimately the spiciness prevails. And so if you are in the market for a spicy sort of red hot type of a scent, if you do have an affinity for slightly sweet fragrances containing a note of cinnamon, I, this, I think this one might actually be in your wheelhouse. And so any concluding thoughts, gentlemen? I would like to add one. Yes. As it started to dry more, the red hot kind of vibe to it did go away. That candied sweetness did start to die down. It really mm. did. It, it becomes, as it starts to develop, it's, it gets a lot better, I find. It really okay. does. It's a lot creamier. Yeah, and I think there's going to be a duality here, too. I think a lot of people are going to be in favor of the opening just because you have all of the elements together. And then some people, maybe the opening might be a little bit too overwhelming. And so 10 minutes in, they might enjoy it a little bit It went away. <laughs> the red hots are gone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's completely gone at this point. Yeah. Now it's just like the cashmere and kind of wood thing going on. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely a non-linear scent. I yeah. smell the red hots, but it's not where, as prevalent as it was in the beginning of yeah. the uh, application. Mm -hmm. All right, awesome. So thank you so much, gentlemen. 
Once again, it's a pleasure, pleasure to be joined by Ross and Carlos. Uh, both of their information for their channels is going to be down below, so definitely make sure to go over to their channel, subscribe to them, show them some love. Also, if you are new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, I would love it if you could support what I do. It's free. All you need to do is click that red button in the corner. This way, whenever I do upload future fragrance related content, it will get delivered straight to your feed. Never need to worry about missing any of my future uploads. Thanks again, everyone. I love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.